Hello guys, so today I'm going to show you how I created this satisfying cube animation in Geometry Notes. So let's get started. Okay, first we need to go to the Geometry Notes panel and add the plane. It can be any other mesh. I start with the plane. Now let's add new and delete this input and add a new one, which is the cube deform that we want. That's why it doesn't matter if you start with the plane or any other geometry. So let's connect the mesh to the geometry. And now we need a few more nodes. First, an uh, instance on points. On points. And now for us to bevel and to be able to see what we are doing, we need to actually add a new cube get it out of the way, it's not important, go back to our plane and drag the cube from here to the geometry nodes and add geometry to instance and now we can see our cube. We are going to also add a few more uh, vertices and for that we are going to click left Click on the mouse and drag all the way down. So now you can say I'm going to click 10 and it changes all the three at the same time. So now we have more geometry as you can see. Okay. So now this is really big. It has uh, the cubes are all together and for us to change that, let's do this again. Left click, drag down and I'm going to put 0 0.55 and as you can see now we have a bunch of cubes which we change it in here as you saw it and they are all connected if you want them to be more far away you just have to change these values let's say you want them to be a bit further apart I just change the values and now they are a bit further apart Okay, but I want my base to be together. Um, so, this is the first part. Now we need to animate our cube. And for that, we are going to need a color ramp. Because this is easy for us to see instead of using a matte node. So, color to scale. And we need a noise texture. Connect effect to effect and change this to 40 so this way it will be easier for us to animate. So now they are all together in huge and we can change that by changing our color ramp. So if you go here, you see they disappear and here they get bigger and larger. So I'm going to drag mine a bit down and for us to have smaller cubes, we just have to change the white. The darker the color, the smaller the cubes. So I'm going to maybe leave it in here. I think this is a good one. And maybe add this to be a bit bigger. Change it maybe to not be completely black. But I want to track this one here. Okay, like this is good. So, now you can see the cubes that we made behind. And that is because we have all of these cubes. In order for us to see, we need to shift D to duplicate. Let it go and click in this cube. So to separate uh, the two geometries that we created and we just need to delete this. And now you can see the other one because it's behind. You just have to scale it a bit. I want to scale mine a bit more so it doesn't touch the other geometry. Okay, like this looks good to me. And so now, if we track this W, you see it, it's 
animate it. So let's say that you want to animate this. You can just go in here, zero, click I and uh, add one. And again, add a keyframe by clicking E. And now it's animated. This is a way to animate it, but if you want a perfect loop, let's say, you see, there is a champ. If you want a perfect loop, you need to add another noise texture. Shift D and a mix RGB. So we can connect both of these. And now pay attention. This has zero and this has one. And so, in the last frame, this one needs to be zero, okay, as the frame. But this one, on the first, on the first uh, frame, needs to be negative one. So always the negative number that you added in the first node. Here is one. Down zero zero up and minus one here so now we have a perfect loop animation if you want it to be faster you just have to change let's say these two minus three and go all the way down and change these to three again and it goes much faster as you can see and this is basically the tutorial. This is how you create this satisfying cube animation with geometry nodes. I can, I'm going to now show you how I did my scene that you saw in the beginning. And this is how I did it. So here, I added a plane. It is really easy. You just have to add a plane scale it way up, go to edge mode, click this edge, extrude Z to go up, and now go again in this edge, control B to bevel it, and add a few subdivisions. By scrolling with the mouse wheel, you can see it, it adds more or less. Or you can go in here when you click it and you can change in here the segments. This is how I did it. Okay. And I added a color. Really important guys, if you want to add color to these auto cubes, you need to add one more note, which is set material. Don't forget this and choose the material that you want. Let's see, I want this pink one. It adds this pink one. But don't forget to do this because otherwise you will create material and you won't be able to see it in the cubes. And then I just added a camera. And I added one more thing, which was an empty. Why did I need the empty? In order for us to do this cool effect with our camera it's easier to have an empty and the amperture, amperature really low. Why do we need the empty? So our object, our camera, catches the empty and will focus on it, uh, only on the empty. The empty won't be, we won't be able to see the empty in the render because it's transparent. So this is a really easy way to add a focus point in our scene instead of let's say use the old cube it wouldn't even work because it would try to focus in the center of all of our cubes and it wouldn't give you this cool effect and so this is basically how i did my scene i hope you liked it please give it a like subscribe and i see you next week